here, it's Melissa McKenzie with Real Estate Partners. I'm here with Robert Wardlaw at Wardlaw's Lucky IQ in Lafette, Georgia. If you've never heard of it, you're definitely going to need to stop by. So this is Robert Wardlaw. He's the owner. Good morning, everybody. Good back. morning, Melissa. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad you came by this morning. Well, thank you. So I came here to lunch last week, and I said, wow. People got to know about this town. Can you get an idea of how you got started and where your name well, came from? Uh -oh. Well, we got started. We've been cooking, uh, Sherman and I, and several. There's about, uh, Sherman, what do you think? About five or six of us that started LEQ kind of in community service. That's how it started. Okay. We'd go and buy meat, and then when, if we had uh, found people in need. So we would go and buy meat and cook it and then put on Facebook and say, hey, we'll be at uh, Rossville or we'll be at Fort Oak Store in three weeks on a Saturday. And all you beautiful people have always done and supported us in large numbers. So we were able to take those funds and then hand those checks to families. And that's what in communities when they're building playgrounds like we did in Rossville. And last May, 14 months ago, the restaurant opened and now we're having a blast over here doing this. Um, how'd you get the name Lucky IQ? Uh, when, I was in, uh, when I was young, my friends called me Eyeball. So we'll start with that. I traveled up all over the country in my Coca-Cola days. And I pulled my smoker behind me and I'd cook for all my teams wherever I went. I was, so that cooking was going on during my professional life too, but the competitors always told my teams that he's not very smart. He, he just gets lucky. He just gets lucky <laughs> talking about. So then they come in and say, hey, good morning, lucky. And so the eyeball and the lucky, and then my wife and daughter said, uh, said lucky IQ. We got passion to do this, and we love the fellowship of people like this. this morning. We're about to open the doors, and the Thursday we call reunion Thursday because we we work seven days a week here, but on Thursday is the reunion back with our customers and our friends, and it's almost like a big giant family here. So every bit of this stuff in here is home cooked. It's real. It's not. This is. This is real food, and we spend, like Sherman and I are in here every Sunday, and we're making stew and grits for the week, and then on Monday is the entire sausage making operation with Dale, David, Kim, and I come in here on Mondays, and that's almost an entire day just doing that. Okay. And we can make all of our sausage, all of the barbecue sausage that we have are our, our recipes, and we can make it like with a big boat or kind of stuff. Oh, okay. And Tuesday is taken up with that, and Wednesday we have to start cooking briskets for Thursday. What's your favorite item on the menu? My favorite item to cook is the briskets. I love that. My favorite special item to eat are the beef ribs. We smoke them all day and then we only have the beef ribs in the evening service and only a limited amount of them. Is, beside the beef ribs and briskets your biggest sellers? Yeah, well, the brisket is number one and the pork right there beside it and then the ribs right behind that. Yeah. And then the, uh, you know, the chicken is interesting and good too. It's, we smoke leg quarters. I, that's what I had last time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the main thing here is this, I wish you could see the team. I hope you pan over there and you'll see this team that, that's all this is yes. here, is we are all on a common mission. If we really enjoy it, we love it. Yeah. Well, so. I could tell when I came here last time how friendly everybody was and how appreciative. Uh, it's real. Yeah. We enjoy it. We yeah. cut up and we have a good time here, but we're dead serious about it. Being the best that we can be. And I'm going to go get the final touches on this meal. Right. We'll be ready. Okay, sir. Well, thank you, thank Melissa. You for I appreciate you coming here.